Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. I'm so excited viewers coming your way. God bless you wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice, wherever you are around the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. I believe that this broadcast meets you well and is a blessing to you. I wanted to give you attention briefly. I want to introduce this program to you. It's a special program that the Lord instructed me. The Lord woke me up and said to me, Son, you need to do this to mankind. By the grace of God, this is my 18 years in ministry. And by the special grace of God in these years, God has not disappointed me. So viewers, I want you to get connected and get the understanding of this message I'm bringing to you today. By the grace of God, it's a one day experience with God. It's a one day total change. Have you been believing God for an encounter? Have you been believing God for a difference in your life? Is there anything special you have been believing God for? I think this is the special occasion to get it done. And by the grace of God, God said to me, I should organize a partnership meeting. And partnership is all about coming together to fight for one common goal, to stand for one purpose. And by the grace of God, God said to me that this program is going to be a blessing. And the Lord said to me the theme for this program will be the benefit of partnership. Hear me? The benefit of partnership cannot be overemphasized on. This benefit is so wide and so big and so robustful. Hear me, child of God. Abraham partnered with God and Abraham was not disappointed. Abraham was blessed. Isaac partnered with God and God blessed him. In Genesis 26 verse 12, he said the same year that Isaac saw in the land, the Lord blessed him in a hundredfold. In Genesis 22, Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice to God. And when God saw it, he called him from heaven. He said, I have sworn in my name that in blessing I will bless you. Because thou hast not withhold thy only son Isaac from me. This partnership is all about Untouchable TV. Untouchable TV is getting across to many nations, countries, continents in this world. And hear me, child of God, be a part of what is going to happen in this program. There is a reward and a benefit for everyone that will take part for, of this program. There is something so unique that we're going to do that I'm going to give out to all partners. It was instruction that God gave to me. Hear me, child of God. God does nothing except it is ordained by Him. God does nothing except it is ordained by Him. In Amos 3, verse 7, He says, Surely I will do nothing except revealing my secret unto my servant, the prophet. I've been in ministry for 18 years. If this is not coming from God, I will never do it. And this is prepared for someone and for mankind to be delivered. God said to me, I should use coconuts for this program. And it's a part of the reward for partners. These coconuts, I will be providing it for every partner. You are not coming with it. Shortly, I will be getting this coconut to give you the demonstration how God woke me up in the midpoint of the night sat me down and the Lord began to teach me these things one after the other it was a mind blowing and it was amazing child of God I can't hold this back to myself when I came out of that revelation I was shivering and I say it was as if the day should be today we want a lot of people to benefit that's why we are broadcasting it on air on our social media platform. So the excess of this is not just about what you want to partner with God. It is the benefits you are going to receive from God. I said before, Abraham partnered with God and God did not disappoint him. Isaac partnered with God, God did not disappoint him. Even King David partnered with God 
when they offer him a piece of land to give to the Lord. He said, no, surely I will get it for a cost. I will never give to the Lord that that will cost me nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, there are people who are kingdom builders, kingdom financiers. Their, 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 their call is just to finance the work of the, the gospel. Hear me wherever you are, in the book of Proverbs 11, 24 and 25. He said, there is one that scattereth yet increaseth, and there is one that withhold more than is made, but led it unto poverty. He said, a Libra soul shall be made fat. A generous man, a generous woman shall be made prosperous, shall prosper. He that water shall be watered. The Shunammite woman built a place for Elisha, and by the grace of God, Elisha pray for her and said, by this same time next season, you will embrace the sun. I don't know what that desire of your is. If you come for this partnership program, and I said to you, Paul said the Lord, and I pray in the name of Jesus for you, hear me, you will return to this same mountain for your testimony. The Shunammite woman testified, and God gave him a son. Hear me wherever you are. I don't know what be your burden, but in this program, it will sure be settled. There are so many that partner with God and God did not disappoint them. God wants you to partner today and your life will change. Don't forget the dates for this partnership meeting before I bring the demonstration of the coconut to you. The date is on the 6th and the time of the program is 1 p.m. in the afternoon. It's on a Sunday. Immediately after our Sunday service, we will bring the service to an end and we will continue with the partnership meeting. We are trusting God that a lot of people will be coming from different places, coming from outside the country because this is so special. This is what has not been done anywhere before that God revealed to me that it's going to be done live in the church. The benefit of partnership. When Simon Peter was stranded, he could not cut fish through the night. When Jesus came, he said, let me your boat. And we let Jesus the boat. And Jesus said to him, cast the night on the right side. Ladies and gentlemen, they could not even draw the net out of the water. The Bible said the net began to break. Even the boat, they put the fish, began to sink. And the Bible said they beckoned on their partners. Life needs partnership. There are things prayer cannot do for you. Your partnership with God, your seed, your seed, your sacrifice will go ahead to do it for you. There are things, your human capacity, your connections cannot do for you. By your partnership, God will do it for you. Are you believing God for the fruit of the womb? Are you believing God for a, a, a life partner to settle down? Are you believing God for a desperate healing? You need God to heal of you, of incurable disease this is a disease that has taken over your health god can heal it so i want you to stay tuned stay connected you have financial crisis you are a servant of god you are sick in body you are sick spiritually you cannot see this is an, a, a, a program you can you can escape so stay connected stay tuned i'll be right back Welcome back viewers, like I promised you, this is the time for me to explain the coconuts. By the grace of God, this is how God showed it to me in my revelation, in the realm of the spirit. The Lord woke me up in the midnight, I was like a child in the classroom, and he was lecturing me one after the other. Hear me, God will always bring his purpose to pass through an anointed servant of God. Now, the coconuts is spiritual the co a coconut coconut is spiritual the tree himself is spiritual and i want you to know the water inside the coconut still remain a misery to us today no one know no one can define or knows how water got into coconut the way this coconut is today nobody can tell how water gets in is still a mystery 
reality today. That is how God, in this program, your blessings will become a mystery to your enemies. Your blessings, your success will remain a mystery to your mockers, those who are mocking you. And I can assure you, after this program, you will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. And let me say this to us quickly before I begin to illustrate this to us. This is how the Lord showed to me. Coconuts spiritually represent a human head. That's why in those days, our fathers always said to children, look at your head like a coconut head. Our fathers of old understand what coconut is all about. The, the outer layer of a coconut, this outer layer represents a human head. If you see it, it represents a human hair. That is what the outer layer of a coconut is all about. Why the fatty, the fatty aspect of the coconut, which the one we eat, the fatty. Look at it, I want to bring a fatty out of the coconut now. This is a fatty part of the coconut. Yes, this is a fatty part of the coconut. This is a very fresh coconut, very young coconut. This is how God showed to me. These are people in the realm of the spirit, thousands of people in the church. We are rejoicing, eating and drinking, drinking the water. <laughs> this is the misery I'm explaining to you. The day God showed me, I couldn't stand. <laughs> it was, I was shivering. People were falling down that anointing. People were eating. People were getting delivered. People were passing out the, the dangerous substances. These were coming out of people. I was shocked. This is what I saw with my eyes in the realm of the spirit. And what the Lord showed to me. The fatty part of it represents our brain. Look at this, the fatty part. That is why you see, human brain is always soft. If you kill an animal, if you look at the brain, it's always soft. If you get a, a young coconut, the fatty part of it is always soft. Why the water, the water from the coconut, the water, look at the water. This is the water. <laughs> I, want to, I want to shock you viewers. Let me shock you. <laughs> Do you know in those days, our fathers will say, don't drink coconut water. It will make you to be dull. It will make you not, but our fathers drink it as coconut water. You know, our fathers, when they keep coconut, I, I, I believe now because the water is not enough. They will want to take it, our fathers will drink it, but they say, children should not drink coconut water. Have you discovered egg? Those days, our father will say you can eat the others, the, the egg, but don't eat the yolk. The yolk is the one containing the, 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 the egg himself, the yolk. And um, have you discovered fish? Any fish, the head of a fish. Our father will say, don't eat the head of a fish. So a child, the, the, the head carries everything about the fish. So what am I illustrating to you today? The water of coconut represents our blood and also our spirit. Our father will say, don't drink coconut water, but our father drinks it. Because coconut water is spiritually powerful. Coconut water can cure disease when it is blessed spiritually. What am I explaining to you today? If you are not spiritual, if you take it, it's just a normal thing. But what God said to me that day, I will provide thousands of coconuts. This is how we're going to take it that day in the house of God. It's very rich. It's very, very sweet. Coconut water is too pure. Coconut water is for spiritual sanctification, for spiritual cleansing. Wow. I am tempted to, to take it more. Test to, this thing is asking to take more. Mm. So, child of God, in this program, every partner 
that we come to attend this program will be given a coconut like this. There will be a special altar. I will build a place. You, you will not come with it. You will get this in the church. Prayed already, fasted on already, a week before the program. All these coconuts are already in the altar where I'll be fasting, crying to God. If you've not seen your menstruation, you will see it. If you've not gotten pregnant in your life before, let me see that devil. You will come back with your testimony. I am assuring you, when God showed it to me, thousands of people, I was in their midst. I was first of all asking God, what is the meaning of this? Before the Lord showed me one after the other, like I have narrated to you. When you come for the program, there are prayer points I will give you to pray. There are things God will do through this program. So wherever you are, don't come alone. If you are a man, you are married, come with your wife. Take a holiday trip. Come to Lagos. You are outside Nigeria. You are in Ghana, Kotonou, anywhere you are in Cameroon, South Africa. Book a flight right now and say, wow, this is a misery. It has not been done anywhere. This is a spiritual misery. I have been in ministry for 18 good years. If it's not God, it's not God. This is what God revealed to me. And everyone coming, you will get this coconut. Come with your children. Do you know coconut water can be used to wash your head? It's for spiritual return. Anything the enemy has planned to you, back to the sender. I want to show you another thing again. Do you see these coconuts? After now, I will go and show you the example. I will carry out a practical somewhere for you to see it. I will go and smart it on the wall. The way this coconut is, if you are facing spiritual problem, confronted with spiritual attack, death, if you want to carry out a dangerous spiritual prayer, if you pray on this coconut now and Smart it on the wall. The way the coconut will explode, will scatter. That's our God will not scatter the plan of your enemies. When you don't know things like this, you will think they are not necessary. Read Corinthians, as I'm talking now, read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27. The Lord said he will use the foolish things to confirm the wise. When David was to go to fight with Goliath, what did he take? He picks five stones. How can somebody use a stone to fight with somebody who is, who is carrying AK-47, as we may describe it today, with fully harm? But that was foolish in the sight of people. Everybody was afraid. But David said, I am choosing these five stones, going with the Lord. So this thing I'm doing today may look so foolish in the eyes of men. People will want to criticize it, but hear me. Mm. One plus one, what you need is the answer. Two, what you need is solution, not what people will say. It is God that showed you to me. So whatever they say is not of my concern. But what concerns me, it is that solution, that thing God wants to use it to do for you. If an enemy is after a life of a man, and a man holds a coconut, pray spiritually, a prophet bless it for you, and carry it with you, give you a directive to smart it on the wall, that problem automatically it returns back to the sender. Why am I a prophet? A prophet is a spiritual mouthpiece of God. A prophet is a revealer of spiritual things of God. And take note, this is going to shock you. When the captain of Syria, Naaman, hear about prophet Elisha and he came for him to be healed. What did he do? Did Elisha come out to lay hand? He said no. Elisha did not come out to lay hand. The Lord instructed him, tell your servant Gehazi to tell Naaman to go and wash yourself in where? In Jordan. How many times? Seven times. I am taking this to time to explain, to make you understand this spiritual content, the spiritual power in this what we're going to do 
And when it, 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 the captain was refusing because he never understands spiritual things. A lot of people have rejected their miracles and refused their miracles and remain where they are. They say, I've been in church for many years. I've not seen a thing like this. I've been serving God. What kind of thing is this? I can't know. That is where you know. This is what God showed me as a prophet. You, it will amaze you. Jesus was young. So what he was doing was like amazing to the chief priest. All of them were angry with Jesus. So what I'm doing today is a result of what God showed me as a prophet. So I want you to come. Where the Naaman, the captain of Syria, went to deep himself several times. The Bible says his skin become like a little side. What are you waiting for? This is a partnership program. Put a call through now. The number is on your screen. This coconut is not for sale. It's waiting for all my partners. As you partner with Untouchable TV today, as you come for this program, I will be giving you this coconut. Thousands of it. I will go and prepare. Sometimes when we're going to plug them from the up, when we go to where we will address this coconut, by the grace of God, I will go with my cameraman to address his life. You see it live. And your life will never remain the same. There are so many things God showed me about coconut, the water, about it. But in that day, I will reveal so many to you. And there are so many things God showed me. When you come in person, I will use it, this thing also spiritually to work for you and your life will change for good. I want you to stay connected to this broadcast. I'll be right back to wrap up this segment. Viewers, like I said before, this is a coconut. When a man has a spiritual problem, when there are enemies gather against a man's life, when a prophet, not every man or prophet is given this authority. God has shown me, when I pray on this coconut, the way God leads me, for anyone who has a problem, and I give it to that person, and the person stands and pray and say, God, as I smack this coconut on the wall, anywhere they gather they together for my sake, anywhere they plant evil for me, let their evil scatter. And as you do it, that is how it will be. Watch. Viewers all over the world, you see the way the coconuts scatter all over the ground. So if there are enemies that gather together before to plan you, to bewitch you, you can see them, all of them will not get scattered. As, they, any, as you smart it on the wall, as you use the coconut, smart on the wall, not the prophet will do it for you, you will do it yourself. And that alone, that enemy, they gather together, all of them will scatter. Confusion will enter them and you get your victory. You will escape. God bless you. As you come from this program, your life will never be able to see. You can see the coconuts, the way they are scattered everywhere. So that's how God will scatter all your enemy. The shell has scattered, everything has scattered. May God bless you. By the grace of God, I assure you that I'll be coming back to bring this section to an end. Thank you for watching the demonstration of the coconut. That is how far I can go about the demonstration. But the way the Lord showed me is so, so much that I cannot finish that today. So wherever you are, Prepare now, call the number on the screen and plan and come down to Lagos. Let us be in part of your planning to come to Lagos. We can also be praying ahead of time of your coming. Notify us that man of God, I am coming with my family. We will be praying for your safe arrival. Everyone coming will be arriving here safe and you will be going back to your destination safe. And one thing I want to assure you, this coconut, you will eat it. 
You see the way I use the spoon to get the fatty part of it. It's a very, we're not taking old coconut. It's young, young, fresh coconut. We're not going to remove it. It's here we're going to remove the shell the way I was removing it. Here we're going to do it, not later. That same service. And when you take that, prayers are done, instructions are given, your life will never remain the same. Please call the numbers on the screen right now. Join us, partner with Untouchable TV. The partnership with Untouchable TV is for you to make sure that Untouchable TV remains on air to touch more life and to win souls for Christ. Are you sick in body? <laughs> You've gone to hospitals. You've gone to medical doctor. You fly abroad. Is it kidney? I have a governor, a former governor of Adamawa State. His Excellency Bala Igilali. He came with his own son with the wife to our church service. And I brought him out in the congregation. This is a secret I want to share with you. His Excellency can attest to this. And this boy had a kidney failure and a heart failure. And I was to flee this boy to India or US. They said, let him give a try to God. And they came for the service. And I brought them out. You will watch it live on the screen. And when I prophesied to His Excellency, I said, there's a son, there's a problem. And I addressed the boy's problem. I prayed for him. I told him, sir, we need three days emergency fasting and prayer. After the service, God said to me, son, bless coconut water for this boy. And I blessed the water. His Excellency is a living testimony. As the boy drank the water, in less than three days, doctors were confused of what to do. They went back to the test. No kidney failure, no heart failure. They gone to another gynecologist, specialist, the same thing. They brought the first result out, compare it again. It was a mind blowing. They could not hold the testimony back. These are people that are well known in the society. They came with joy. Even the doctor were asking them, where did you go? How many did God do it? Till today, the boy is son is a footballer doing well today without operation, without anything being put on his body. This is God who has done it, not myself. Coconut has a spiritual capacity to change spiritual issues. That tree is spiritual. Thank you very much for listening to this broadcast. Is there HIV positive? It will change to negative. Is there anyone that can be for many years with that fruit of the womb, please, if you storm into this advert, either on television, on Facebook, on YouTube, please make sure that somebody else watch it. You will do somebody a favor, a good, for watching it, and somebody will take the decision of coming. And I can assure you, after this first addiction, because what God said to me, is going to be seasonal. After this first addiction, we're going to go for the second edition and you watch out testimonies will be the one to cancel every argument god bless you my name remain prophet nsco -E the untouchable the prophetic presence your humble prophet i love you so much i'm looking forward to see you in the untouchable city shalom